Hey everyone, welcome back to Fallout 3 with me, Warren the Werewolf, and we are here in Kentberry Commons. And we are going to do this superhero quest. First of all, I did quite a lot of things off camera. I've gotten a lot of bobbleheads so we can max some stuff out. Uh, I've cycled through the caravan to see how well the caravans are doing. It seems like Hearth lost his, uh, well, bodyguard, so we might have to equip him with a better weapon later on in order to defend himself a little bit more. Uh, one of the caravans lost its Brahmin, uh, Peck Brahmin, and uh, everything else should be fine. Let's go ahead and talk to Derek. He knows more about the superhero and the supervillain than everyone else in the ho in, a, in this place does. Let's go ahead and give him a little talk to. Oh man, did you see it? Did you see it? The antagonizer was all like, "Fear me," but the mechanist was all, "Stop, evil doer." Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Uh, what can you what can you tell me about them? The antagonizer, she's this evil supervillain who's trying to wipe out humans with her ants. And the mechanist protects us with his robots. And when they fight in town, it's incredible! There's all these lasers and biting and blood, and it's crazy! And then my uncle says I need to stay inside. He says it's dangerous. This is serious business, Derek. <laughs> okay, uh, well, those guys must really liven up the place, huh? Anyone ever get hurt? You think they're neat too, huh? It's not like they ever hurt anyone. Well, not like really badly hurt or anything. Dom and Machete make sure that everyone gets inside when they fight like that. Though, sometimes I sneak out to watch. The traitors and the slavers and the raiders, they don't like the antagonizer or the mechanist. They say they're bad for business. But that's dumb. The ants and the robots rip them to shreds. That shows them. Okay, what do you know about them? You mean the superheroes? Yeah, I'll try to watch all of their fights. What can you tell me about the antagonizer? I don't know much about her except she really, really doesn't like people. That's kind of cool. I mean, sometimes people are jerks. I think her lair is somewhere in the caves to the north of the city. I've seen her ants down there once in a while. Joe Porter said he found out something about her, but my uncle won't let him tell me. He says, don't encourage the poor boy. What can you tell me about the mechanist? I knew the mechanist back when he was just a normal hero. He used to be called Scott. Then he fixed up stuff around town. But one day, the antagonizer killed his favorite robot. And I told him he ought to fight back against her like a real superhero. Ever since then, he's been up on his forge in the back of the robot shop on the hill, working to protect us all from the antagonizer. Do you know anything that can help me stop them? No way! Don't stop them, they're awesome! Unless, maybe you're going to be a superhero too. You could be called Super Humongous and fight them with an army of super mutants. I didn't know. Well, okay. Okay, I have to go now. Say hi to the mechanist for me. Alright, with this quest we're going to try and get both the weapons and both the armor. Uh, the antagonizer armor and her weapon is called the ant sting. It's like a, a kitchen knife that does poison damage. And if you're working on towards being one of those uh, stealthy ninjas with, with melee, that'd be a nice weapon to have. And we're also looking to get to the, the protectron. Is that what it's called? It's a laser pistol shotgun. Laser pistol shotgun. It shoots multiple lasers like a shotgun would. So that's going to be quite the fun fun toy for us to have. So both the armors and both the weapons. Uh, I think I have a plan on how to do it. Hopefully, hopefully it will work. It's more or less me trying to reverse pickpocket some better armor on the mechanist then go into the ant later ant lady get her weapon and uh, turn in the armor kill her get wrap her armor 
and then basically do the same with the Bincanus, but try not to kill him, because I like him. So, Evening. it's going to be quite the venture, and more than likely I'm going to have a lot of cuts, so we'll see what we have to do. We'll see. I'm probably going to keep the sergeant and dog meat out here so I can have a better stealthy approach to both the layers. Scanning, sir. And see how that works. We'll see you when we reach up to the mechanist. down here, and we're ready to pickpocket, well, reverse pickpocket anyway, all our, our newly formed power armor for him. Let's go ahead and save it, because I have no idea if he's down here or not. Um, let's save to a new file. A nice little bit of setup right here. What are you doing in here? Speak. I realize you mean as much as sad. Okay, we managed to not talk him out or talk him into anything. Let's go ahead and see if we can reverse pickpocket the stuff into his stuff. Now let's go ahead and save it again. Well done. Now let's go out of here so he will quit it and then we could take his armor. Oh, there's the costume. Oh, I got it. Okay, I got it. Well done. Well done. Uh, there is a protectortron right there. Now that we've taken the costume, we can go ahead and turn it into the an ant agonizer. Hopefully get her weapon, kill her, come back with her suit of armor, and then do the same here. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, here we are at the Ant Agonizer's lair. We've done some searching at the at the, the canist lair. A whole bunch of nice little craftable stuff. We came down here, not so much craftable stuff, but uh, hey, it's it's all good. Uh, let's go ahead and try to see if we can get her weapon by turning in the mechanist armor and then uh, maybe get to know her a little bit and then shoot her in the face <laughs> let's go at last you've pried the shell off that meaty little mechanist give it to me Wait. First, let's talk about what you've been doing. You would dare to tell the antagonizer to wait? No human commands the Ant Queen. But as you have defeated my nemesis, I will allow you to talk. Quickly. Oh, 
let's see. Hmm, there is a speech thing. Okay. Humanity made mistakes, but there's still chances for you. For us and you, Tanya. Hmm. You're wrong. Humans are cruel, hurtful beasts. They can't be saved. We can't be. I can't. I can't go back. But I can't keep doing this. I can't be as bad as they were. Please, I think I've made some terrible mistakes. If you really think I still have a chance, just let me go. I'll give you the suit. No one ever has to see the antagonizer again. Just please, let me have another chance. Okay. Well, she gave me the suit, but, uh... Not the weapon. Thank you. I don't know how I can... Just thank you. Oh, that's weird. Please, just leave me alone. I want to... It looks like we're going to have to do that all over again. <laughs> I totally wasn't expecting that. Well, my cat's, like, talking. Good thing I saved it right before I came up here. Leave all this behind. I want the weapon and the suit. I totally was, he wasn't expecting me to win anything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was totally unexpected. Uh, that's what I get for going in blind. last. Okay, uh, let's see. If you want the suit, you have to take it from me. Don't waste your time with the suit. It isn't worth your attention. Here, you can have it. Just Why do you want the suit? Isn't it only fitting to gloat over the corpse of one's fallen foe? To revel in a victory over a larger and stronger opponent overcome? If I couldn't be there to personally strip the facade from the iron interloper, the least I am owed is a chance to gloat over his shell. Here, you can have it. Just move on and leave Canterbury alone. Excellent! It shall make a fine memento of a nemesis bested. A trophy of a foe, antagonized. For your loyal assistance, take this blade. Its sting carries the venom of a thousand ants, and your foes shall tremble before it. Now that the tin-plated menace is no more, I shall take my leave of this town. I do believe it's time for my colony to spread. Okay. I got the ant sting. Let's go ahead and talk to her again. I have no time to waste well, with you. Looks like we have to Far kill more her. important matter. You're not leaving that that quickly. Sorry. I killed your master. Now I'm gonna kill you. She had a quantum. Thank you. Thank you for the quantum. Uh, just ant meat, no ant nectar. Alright. I got your key. Ooh, she drops a finger. Cause she is evil. Human flesh. The antagonizer's costume and the mechanic's costume. Well done. Well, at least you now have got this chance to see what happens. If you decide to go the high moral route. <laughs> uh, now that we destroyed her. Destroyed her. We're going to take a look around our stuff. Because I'm sure she has some stuff that we can take. They all do.
At least I think she has stuff I can take. Maybe. <laughs> well, oh wait, there's another another pathway over here. And it's her shortcut down to this layer. I'll grab all that. Is there nothing else here? Huh, man, I was hoping that there was more. Well, now that we have her costume and a mechanist costume, let's go back to mechanist and see if we can grab his weapon and hopefully talk to him too a little bit. Wait, he's probably going to leave like she was intended to as well. We have to quickly pickpocket the costume off of off of him whenever we do. Uh, no problems. We'll save it before uh, we reach that point. Alright, see you when we get there. Well, here we are, back in the Mechanic Slayer. We are. Let's, get, let's go ahead and talk to him, see what happens. Well done! You have defeated the vile antagonizer, and you've brought back her suit so that we may destroy the last taint of her villainy. Hand it to me. And I'll make sure that no one else can ever bear the mantle of the foul antagonizer. Okay, it seems like it does have the same option as the antagonizer where you can talk him out of his suit. Uh, let's go ahead. Why do you want a suit? I can hardly leave it lying around for someone else to find, now can I? The threat of the antagonizer must be put to an end forever. I must not let her threaten all that humanity holds dear. Even now, twisted souls may seek to continue her legacy. Here. You can have it. Just move on and leave Canterbury alone. Excellent. The evil taint of the antagonizer will never darken the land again. Now that the antagonizer is taken care of, Canterbury Commons is safe. And for your loyal assistance, I'm honored to present you with this laser pistol, crafted from my last loyal robot assistant. May it guide you well. But the mechanist cannot rest. Not while there's evil afoot in the wasteland. Farewell. Tektron Gaze. Excellent. Excellent. That's going to be awesome. Now, let's go ahead and save it and steal the suit right back from him. Because, well, we want both of them. have both suits. Sir, I am on the lookout. Thank you, Sergeant. Both weapons. One's dead, one's alive. Let's go ahead and turn in the quest and hopefully level up. Well, here we are back. Let's go ahead and talk to him and see what happens. Hello? Hey, Uncle Roe. What's going on, guy? What can old Uncle Roe do for you today? I took care of both of them. They won't be any more fighting in the streets. You're lucky. You're lucky you have me. That's grand. I do believe it's fair to say you've saved Canterbury. And unlike that mechanist, you did so with significantly less stress all around. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered, and a little bonus as a special thank you. 600 bottle caps, 300 experience, Quest is done. Oh. <laughs> Let's 
go ahead and max repair. Um, max lock, pit lock picking. And now we got four points to spare. Let's go ahead and put that stuff into science, make that 90. And level up sneak a little bit. We have done well. We have done very well. Now we are level 18 again. <laughs> Infiltrator, nope. Uh, concentrated fire. With concentrated fire, your accuracy and hit body increase. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you for that. Got our level. Got a nice perk. Got two armors, two weapons. We have done ourselves very well. Now, I'm going to head back to Megaton off camera and put these up in my in the room that I'm not using. Put these nice pieces of armor for decoration. This is Roaring the Werewolf, and thank you for joining me with the superhero quest line in Fallout 3. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.